This is Black Views, bringing you the Black News. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. And welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about uh, President Biden, talk about a little bit of Kamala, and talk about some Donald Trump. You've heard and you've seen what happened lately. Donald Trump, I'm sorry, Biden has basically dropped out of the political race for the presidency. Um, we all knew this. We saw this coming. The man could not complete a sentence. And if you watched the debate, uh, you would have noticed that he was just not in very good shape. And besides, uh, I mean, the, just the, the whole political realm of things is just back and forth negativity. No actually talking about policies or anything to to better the people. Uh, we have now gotten to the point where, of course, this is, this is what the majority is going to do. They're going to split everything up where you have the left and the right and the black people on the left. And then they mysteriously think that we, uh, just because you're black, uh, uh, you support Biden and Kamala. You know, it, it's, it's all a head game. And these people are out of their minds. So Biden has dropped out. And now Kamala is in as the new president. I'm sorry. Yeah, the new candidate for the presidency. This is a woman that has been caught saying she was going to do nothing for black people. But yet we have black women that you see. Now, now I'm not saying all black, all black women because I, I've seen a lot of things saying that black women, we, we're not even falling, especially if FBA black women. I have to say that uh, FBA black women are not falling for the okie doke. We've seen what's happened in the last, uh, I guess, what, four years. And we see that it's going to be more of the same. And then the sham that went on with Obama. It's like black people are actually waking up and starting to see that there's, there's no tangibles and there's been no tangibles for black people. Something for everyone else but black people. And the reason why I brought up black women, because now this is a target on black women, okay? Because Kamala is in, in the driver's seat as the, uh, the Democratic um, candidate. So they're going to pull all their resources together and hoping that black women are going to follow, fall for the sham that something is going to be done for them. You have to remember, you're black. As long as you're black, like she said, she's not going to do anything for just black people. So you just have to imagine that the only people that are really riding with this are tethers. The tethers and others that have no stake in the game as to what foundational black Americans are and what our lineage is and what we and what we need as a people and what we are owed as a people. We are literally in a government that just when it comes to um, foundational black American, it just doesn't function. It does absolutely nothing for you. You understand what I'm saying? So you can come here from somewhere else, from anywhere else, and get get a head up on on uh, uh, school, on business, um, and, and just on the American dream. The American dream is for the foreigner, okay, not for the black man and woman in America, the originators. So, you know, you really have to think about the psychological uh, thoughts of Kamala Harris. She says she's not going to do anything uh, for black people. Then she tries to corral and gather up all the black women. And she's married to a white man. Now, I'm not trying to say, I'm not trying to be racist or anything. We're not talking about being racist. But think about the psychological effect. She tries to split the black family in half. She focuses on black women. And she has like, like almost like, like she, she's trying to say black men are not leaders in their homes. I mean, just think about this for a second. Okay. And, and now you have all of these, the, these shields, man, you have all these democratic shields with these opinions and, 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 and all they're talking about is misogyny and racism. And uh, look, as, as FBA, we already know this racism. We already know there's racism. But the Democratic Party still wants us to become emotional about race and not emotional about policies and things that are important to families to benefit. They want us to be emotional about rhetoric and, and what Trump said and this and that. Is Trump 
doing is Trump going to do something that's going to benefit foundational black Americans? See, all other groups and races, no, no one talks about what their vote is going to do. No one talks about uh, what their women are going to do. I mean, think about it. Right on down to Hispanics, to Asians, to the, the, it's like this divisive plan has only be set, has only been set for the black family under the Democratic Party. You don't you don't hear anything either even from the Republicans talking about uh, what black women are going to do. And, or what white women are going to do. It, it's, it's honestly straight up. Just think about it for a second. It's just the Democrats. They're constantly splitting us in half. It's almost like, you know, they spit in our face as men, as black men. And now here it is, an opportunity where Kamala Harris could be, I seriously doubt, but could be president of the United States. Now it's all about, the, you know, hey, come on now, everybody. Come on, vote now, vote. Come on, black I don't understand this. So now you need our assistance. The only people that are going to vote for Kamala are Democratic shields. Meaning people like Roland Martin. People that are looking for something out of the party. People that are looking for a job. People that are looking for an opportunity. So they're for sale to say anything as long as the Democrats win so they can go and sit down in Congress and sit in one of those offices down there and put their feet on the table and drink and drink uh, uh, whiskey while they're in their uh, in their office. I'm telling you what I know. They're only black as far as being a black person with a job as a Democrat. That they, they could care less about what's going on in the street. Have you heard Kamala Harris come up with a plan on how to stop violence in America? But we, we can send several billion dollars to a nation so they can fight a war. More than one nation on top of that. In fact, we can aid countries that allow, you know, booty hole play. I mean, literally pay them to support that type of activity. And then there are nations that don't want that type of activity. And they, sh and they, they, they promise to sanction them. So, so now, what does Kamala Harris stand for? Honestly, you know, she was about to do a speech before I did this, uh, this little video essay here. And I and and I looked at the the live feed. It, it was like a pet rally. Like you know, everybody was. It was like yeah, yeah, yay for what? What has Kamala Harris done? Honestly, honestly, sit back and ask yourself, what has she done? And what has she posed to do for black people? All her paperwork say she's Caucasian. Her birth certificate. Her mom is her mom is is uh, is I believe she's she's Indian, right? She's Indian. Her dad is Jamaica. She's not even FBA. And look at all these clowns that are over there talking about you know, you know black people. But once again, these are are uh, tethers. I believe majority of those people. That get on here and they, they you know, they get on, t on Twitter and they, they show their face and they look retarded talking about vote for Kamala Harris and talking about the misogyny and the racism and the, what, what do you mean misogyny and racism? So, so they got a name for everything. So honestly, just look at this for a second. If a white candidate doesn't like what she does, they're going to say he's racist. If a black per if a black man says he doesn't like something or doesn't agree with her policies, she's going to say it's misogynistic. So you see, they have a label for everything. Okay, they have a label for for everything so that they don't have to listen or hear. Now, just imagine that type of tyranny that's going to be it, that that will go to the White House. That's insane. Can you imagine having de delusions, people with delusions in the White House? So, 
come, you know, come voting time, I'm voting for nobody. There's no tangibles for FBA. There's nobody talking about anything that's going to help our our group. That's going to give us more uh, uh, incentive. Uh, there's there's no opportunities or plans right now where we can go and just uh, start businesses and put them up. And when I look around in my community, I, I see businesses by foreigners, foreigners that I've never seen before. Especially when you've been, you've lived in a community for a very long time, you get used to some of the type of people you see. Now I've seen the change of a guard recently. I, I've seen a new group of like of 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 immigrants. I don't even know if they're immigrants. I, I don't know. But I know that they're foreign to this neighborhood. And and, and I know this. There's, there's, there's an African guy. There's an Indian guy. And a Hispanic guy. And they all run the store. The, the little, uh, you know how we have these little convenient, uh, convenient stores right here in the hood. With the little neon lights and shit, all that shit. You know, and sell you, uh, you know, whatever. Right in the hood. And it's all three of them right there. They're probably really not making any money. But the whole point is. And then right next to that, there's an Asian. Uh, uh, well, actually, two Asians. Because the one, the one spot on the liquor store owned by the Asian. And then the next spot, there's a, a Chinese store right there. I mean, bro, what has Kamala or Biden done? It would be virtually more of the same if you voted for Kamala. I mean, I, 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 I say this to black people and to young black people. Use your brain, your mind, for real. Use your mind. Like you've seen nothing. You've seen nothing come out of them but uh, excuses for everything over and over. Listen, I've been here a very long time, and I've seen it go full circle. Nothing's going to happen until you take your emotion out of the vote. Your vote should be for sale. Not just uh, you know, vote anybody blue. That that just sounds these are even not not even those days anymore. Cause it appears to me that there may be more race racist in the Democratic Party. Okay? Yeah. You really just need to start looking at these policies before you go out here and you just decide you want to vote for somebody in blue just because they're blue. Besides that, this is not even a system that is properly built to to support black people. It's, 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 it's not even a system that, that acknowledges black people. We're just here. And now what they're doing is they're, they're focusing on black women to separate our households. That's all that is. To separate your household. So, going back to Trump, you know, if you if you looked at the the, uh, the RNC, the little convention they had, uh, you know, I really didn't hear a whole lot that I liked over there either. You know, I heard Trump say a few things that I see that that could benefit Black people as far as stopping immigration. And uh, mass deportation, man, that's gonna be a shit, a shit, a shit, so a shit show. That's gonna be a sight to see, you know. I mean, you're talking about a full on deportation. You're gonna see undergrounds. You're gonna see all type of shit happen that you thought you would never see because they're gonna be running from this for what Trump said he's gonna do. Day one, day one, Trump is going to put a lot of things in play that supposedly he says. That will help economically. And I'm not even trying. I'm not a Trumpster. I'm, I'm not. I'm just listening to the candidates. I, I, I Listen, I, I don't. I'm not a. I'm not a Democrat or a Republican. But we do have issues as a nation. And if you look at the nation, who's talking about issues? It's not Kamala Harris. What is she talking about? Just just listen to her focus. It's going to be about abortions. It's going to be about women's rights. What is that? She's going to say, you're right to an abortion. Okay, you want abortions? Keep abortions. What about the family? What are the issues concerning the family? Nothing. Kapoof. There's nothing. So it's going to be real interesting uh, come this election. And, um, you know, the Democratic Shields, they're going to go hard. You're going to see them come out of the woodworks. 
You're going to see them coming, telling all types of things about how slavery's coming back. You're going to hear every little little uh, uh, witch hunt. Everything is going to come out, hoping that the naive will vote uh, Democratic just because of Democratic. The last thing I want to vote for are liars. That is the last thing I want to vote for is a liar. And I see a lot of a lot of lying and hate and pride and a lot of these shields, man. So that's enough for now, I guess. I want to come back tomorrow and talk. Let's we'll see what happens tonight. I appreciate you. Thank you for stopping through. Please like, also subscribe. And remember, FBA, I'm gonna always say this: all we got is each other, man, and we gotta wake up. We have to wake up and just stop voting for each other and start focusing on each other and stop going the democratic recipe of separation among our ranks. This is Black Views bringing you the black news. Have a great day.